Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy! I want to take this time to introduce the special guest of this video and that's going to be Yasin. He is an amazing, amazing combo specialist that specializes in metal foes. So everyone knows if you play metal foes, you get a lot of hoes. So if you're ready for 7 Negates, smash the subscribe button and let's go baby! Let's go! Yo, what's going on? My name is Yasin, and today I actually have the honor of being featured on Steven's channel. So first of all, if you're watching this video, uh, congratulations, you have a brain. You know that pendulums are the way to go. And uh, while you're at it, please subscribe to Steven, my boy, you know, the pe the, the goat, the pen god. Also, uh, please like the video. And then after that, watch the full video. And then you can go on my channel to check my kind of content, what I do. I actually love uploading dead profiles and combo videos. So if you're interested, uh, make sure to actually uh, subscribe and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful combo with tutorial and deck profile. So yeah. All right, cool. So I'll be explaining this combo with you guys. Uh, pretty much. Uh, I ended up this this turn with nine interruptions. Uh, but there was a draw that if I didn't have, I would have you know seven interruptions instead. But it's still really huge. But as you can see with this hand, it just looks like we we can't really do anything, right? I mean, we have two where are thou, which means which says like we need to have a level one monster on the field and three high skills on top of that, and they're not level one. So how did I manage to make this work? So I'm going to play out this combo like bit by bit and slowly just to make sure that you guys can actually understand. So first of all, what I do actually is I normal summon a steal in so this is already pretty sketch right because there's no electrum so what can we do before the pendulum summon well let me tell you something the metal foes are actually vanilla monsters which means that we can make link spider so two metal foes actually before your pendulum summon can always end with a link two. and what what does a link two um, actually make today it makes Link Cross. And this card reads, If this card is Link Summoned, you can special summon Link Tokens that are level 1 <laughs> up to the Link rating of the material that it, you actually use. And since Phoenix is a Link 2, you can actually summon two level 1 tokens. They cannot be used as Link materials, but that is completely fine. We can play around that. Um, now we are free to use Where Art Thou, and we had two copies. So we're going to search probably one of the best skills in this deck, Bismu Gear. So it's a level 1, and since the lowest skill in the deck is uh, skill 1, and we don't play gate zero this card is better as a scale and once it is destroyed you can actually search any metal foes monster from your deck to the hand during the end phase and magician souls probably has the most disgusting synergy in this deck like ever and the fact that this deck can actually play nine copies of where uh, of magician soul sorry three copies of Magi magical abductor three or are thou and then three magician souls just make sure that you have combo more often than not so you're going to see soon so I'm going to scale the Metal Full Steel. I'm going to pop the token because we really don't need it. Set the combination. And this is the part that you always really want to get uh, to. So you always want to have two combinations on your field. And the ability to summon Magician Souls. Because once you get there, you, you see, you summon the Magician Souls. You send a level 7 uh, Spellcaster in Dimian. Because you're actually going to make Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon before you even Pendulum Summon. You can you can make Appaloosa and Absolute before your Pendulum Summon, which is just disgusting. And then pen 3 from your extra deck. So you're going to use Soul's Effect, send the two combinations, draw two, and get yourself two searches. And then we drew another Wherever Thou, get get another Bismu Gear, not really ne needed. We can use just use it as a fusion material anyways. And then the Jackal King is actually, this is what I meant by, um, you can make up to nine interruptions. You just need to draw this card somehow. It can be in your opening hand, you can Pendulum Summon it, or you can just draw it afterwards with, you know, even if you draw it with Metal Force Fusion, because this combo will always draw you three cards. We're going to skill Gold Driver, set the fusion, and then make Cross Sheep, and then make Mithrilium, which revives Magician Souls, then we make Selene. So Steven was absolutely right when he said that Selene was broken and people slept on it. So you're going to see that with the same Selene, we're actually going to use the effect twice. It's disgusting. And Pendulum Summon 3 from your extra deck. Like, what? It has the best arrows. It's super easy to summon. It's just too good. Uh, so yeah, very, very important play here. Uh, Mithrilium actually bouncing back the Gold Driver after we Pendulum Summon, uh, just to make sure that we can actually put it back, and then pop the Bismuth Gear to get maximum value, uh, you know, set the full Metal Force Fusion that I'm gonna do right now, and get my end phase Search to make sure that I can fuse for Alkahes during my opponent's turn. So yeah. 
This is something else that's really, really cool. So during your own turn, when you get the ability to fusion summon, you actually really want to make Oricalc because Oricalc is also going to be a part of your interruptions during your opponent's turn. So when this card, if this card is sent to the grave, sorry, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. So just this with full Metal Fools, Metal Fools Fusion and a Metal Fools Monster will be two interruptions because you're going to pop a card and then you're going to steal a monster with Alkahest. So yeah, and it's it's pretty proactive. It's This deck is just very aggressive too and it can also OTK super easily. So during the end phase, we <laughs> yeah, I mean, I stack the hand. So, you know, taking 6,000, it's just more like a joke. But yeah, uh, so we're, we're actually going to search our Metal Fools monster. And as you can see, this board is ridiculous. We have a Selene that's already ready to use its effect because it has three counters. We have a Mascarena and Ada is Absolute Dragon that w it's going to stay on the field, by the way. We're not going to do anything with this. Like, we're, we're, we can we can link it off with a uh, Mascarena or we can fuse for uh, for Oracle, but that's not really worth it. But what I'm trying to say is if your opponent goes into battle phase with a monster and tries to attack over the Mascarena, you just say no. You can negate an attack with Odai's Absolute Dragon and then you can disrupt like their their biggest choke points whenever you want and this Absolute is going to be disgusting so you're gonna see soon enough. Uh, I mean I'm not gonna play, I'm not really going to play it out with the Blue Eyes hand, it's just um... I'm just replaying a, a combo that I actually show, already showcased in my video. But yeah, as you can see, I had the pop with the uh, Oricalc. I, I'm pretty sure I popped like the alternative and then I'm just linking off the Mascarena. I'm linking off the Alkahest uh, after, you know, considering that you already stole a monster. And I'm also linking off the Absolute. So now I'm making Appaloosa for 3 during my opponent's turn. I'm reviving back the Endymion that is actually live because Jackal King has 6 counters. And I'm summoning Odai's Vortex Dragon. And this card is disgusting because when you summon it during your opponent's turn, not only is it a negate, but also it bounces back an attack position monster your opponent controls to their hand. So you see, you actually just get full value off of everything. Just count the amount of interruptions. Look, you have one from Jackal King, one from Endymion, uh, three from Appaloosa, so that's already five. Then you have Odai's Vortex is bound six, the, the negate seven, Oricalc pop, and the Alka steel, steel, that's uh, eight, nine. That's nine interruptions, and you know, it was like a pretty ordinary hand. If I didn't draw the Jackal King and I just drew any other Pendulum Monster, it would have been seven interruptions, but who cares? Like, what does it really change? It changes nothing. And then you end on cards in hand. You see, it's it's just it's just so easy. It's It really is, honestly. This deck is definitely a force to be reckoned with. So yeah, I'm actually going to jump into the deck profile now. All right, guys, I'm back with the deck profile. And as you can see, I'm actually playing three of every single Metal Fools monster because you really, really want to stack your extra deck with as many Metal Fools as you can. Well, as many monsters, honestly. And you really want to set two combinations as fast as possible because if you can resolve souls to send two combination you win the game and this deck is actually designed to be quite consistent and very turbo heavy and honestly even when you don't have the ability to make like you know the big full god board with like seven eight nine interruptions it's not the end of the world because what you can still do is oricalc into alkahes during your opponent's turn with a very good follow-up so you know you always have something it's really it's not like like I said in my uh, in my deck profile that I made on my own uh, channel, it's this deck is not a gimmick. It's a deck that you can genuinely play in an event and actually expect to do very well. Because uh, I have two regional wins in a YCS top with Metal Fools. Well, it was Metal Fools True Draco, and I can tell you this deck seriously has potential. And if people are not topping with it, it's just because it's slept on and maybe not the right uh, players are playing the deck. Uh, but this deck is very, very good. And like I said, you guys are watching, you know, Steven's channel. You, you guys already know that Pendulum is the way to go. You guys have a brain. But yeah, anyways, so I'm playing three of every Metal Foes. I'm playing three Abductor, three Souls, uh, three War of Dao. War of Dao, as you, as you just saw, uh, very easy to trigger. You don't necessarily have to draw level one. Uh, you know, it's either you draw a combination of two Metal Fools that are level 4 or lower, or you can draw Bismu Gear or, you know, Magician Souls, and then you can search Bismu Gear, actually, so it's not just Magician Souls, and, um... Yeah, a lot of spells actually, so the Abductor can be very explosive. I considered playing like an, a small Endymion package, so I could actually summon Magical, magical Abductor from my deck with Servant, but I don't feel like this is the correct deck to do it, and without Electrum, it 
it's a little harder to activate spells. Uh, you, you need to like physically draw spell cards. This deck doesn't have access to Allure of Darkness since the Metal Foes are fire, unfortunately. And even the non-Metal Foes really are just... Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to banish Magician's Souls from my hand. And uh, these, I'd rather fuse with them or Pendulum Summon them. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, Too Painful Decision, I'm not a huge fan of it. Because it has a pretty... It has a pretty fair quote-unquote effect. It just searches a level, le level 4 lower vanilla monster, but that's it. It's hard once per turn. So, if a card is not super broken, I usually don't like playing it at 3. But if a card is like, it's just free and it's not once per turn, why not? Like, exactly like Summoner's Art. Like, it only searches Volflame, but I still like it because it's not once per turn. So, it's just a free spell that you can use, and it's just more monsters, more fuel for Abductor. It's it's just a win-win. It's uh, th This card is very good, and you have no reason not to play 3, honestly. You can also play the Clifford package, but it's 2 cards in your extra deck, and I feel like the extra deck is already super tight as it is. So, yeah. Also, into the void uh, with upstart of course so you're playing a 38 card deck with three desires once again when you're playing desires with magician souls it's not that bad you, if you draw duplicates you just send them so you never really truly have dead hands even if you draw full metal force fusion or if you draw metal force fusion honestly metal force fusion in this deck is just never it's it's really not a brick unless you have like zero pendulum cards but you know Look at the amount of pendulum monsters we're playing, like, come on. You really think you're gonna break on no pendulum cards? Hell no, you're you're either bound to draw, like, a bunch of metal foes with, like, abductor souls, or you're going to draw into draw cards, get into your metal foes, and then you can uh, safely explode, so yeah. And three desires, just, you, you just gotta be careful that you don't, you don't banish your metal foes fusion, so before desiring, desiring, <laughs> that's a new term, before using desires, just make sure you actually set the fusion, so the worst thing that can happen is maybe banish one combination, but that's it. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the deck profile. The extra deck, I'm just gonna go very quick on the things that are not covered in the combo, which are, I think, literally almost nothing. <laughs> literally everything was used in the combo, but Link Rebo is actually a really interesting one. It's a way to make sure that the second token you summon off Link Cross actually allows you to go into Cross Sheep. Because you usually link, use Link Cross and Link Rebo, actually. The, the combo where, where, with Where Art Thou was the only one that I actually didn't go into Link Rebo, but usually you go into it. And uh, Unicorn is the other card that is like kind of a flex spot because I played Mascarina. But honestly, when I use Mascarina, I usually go with Appaloosa. Unicorn, definitely also an option. If you don't want to play Unicorn, you have access to Boral Sword or a second Mithrilium. Because if you play a second Mithrilium, you have an infinite grind game. Because Mithrilium also always bounces Mithrilium and something else etc blah 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 it's an infinite loop so you can always keep playing and the crimsonite is also the other card that i did not use in the combo because it is uh, to be used with super polymerization uh so yeah that's pretty much all i had to say for this deck profile once again make sure you actually like uh, steven's video and subscribe to his channel because it's the pen god and uh yeah that is pretty much it yasin is signing out peace guys yeah,